Oh, my precious little phoenix ember. It's so nice to see you again. Wait a minute. Nothing here is burning. You. What have you done to my woman? Whoa, hey, hey. Don't set me on fire. I actually made Ember really good late game, so hear me out. better be good start talking okay so everyone's been complaining that ember has no end game because she's all damage based but everyone seems to forget that she has an ability called accelerant this ability includes crowd control damage buffs all this fun stuff for whatever reason they ignore it so here is an accelerant build and don't worry it has fire blast oh it's better i didn't see my delicate little hell spawn lose her fire <laughs> that's cute yeah, this this ember is not delicate at all, in the slightest. Oh, that's total ball! Wait, you did what? Yeah, this build for Ember takes hits like a boss. She shrugs them off like they're nothing. Keep talking. You've got my undivided attention. All right, so as a piece of warning before I talk about this build, this is the single most expensive build that I've ever put together for Warframe. It's going to require quick thinking. It's going to require vault mod and just generally rare that's stuff. It. So yeah. ye be warned. But hey, if that doesn't scare you off, let's do some crazy stuff with Ember Prime. To start things off, you're going to need the Steel Charge Aura. I know this sounds a little bit weird, but just bear with me, it makes sense in the end. For your ability cards, you're going to use everything except World on Fire. Your duration's going to be too short to use it. Trust me, it's not worth it when the duration is this short. For your regular mods, you're going to use the classic Rage and Quick Thinking combo. Next to that, you're going to have Streamline and Fleeting Expertise for efficiency. Then you're going to have Natural Talent to make your casting faster and overextended. And to put in the far right corner where your World on Fire mod would normally be, you're going to put Flow. There is also one other part of this build that isn't shown here. You need to have a weapon with Life Strike on. This is why you have the Steel Charge Aura. This way, once you've fallen into a quick thinking state, you can get all of your health back by just burning a little bit of energy. Oh, I see what you did there. But that's not the only awesome part of this build. Being a quick thinking build, once you've entered that quick thinking state, you're actually completely unaffected by DOTs. This build originally was made as a response to Mutilus Ospreys. In use, this build is crowd control for days. Everything she does puts enemies in a panic state. Accelerant is going to be your main source of causing panic. You cast that, it's got a huge radius on this build, and it'll tag most of what's in a room. Alternatively, you can use Fire Blast if you want to apply a small DOT to it, although it does wear out pretty quick. Fireball is reserved for when you're reloading or in some other action that you don't want interrupted, but it also has the same effect as using Fire Blast or Accelerant on your target if you hit them. Your quick thinking game is going to be really impressive on this loadout. Since you've got Life Strike and Rage equipped as well, once you're dropped down into that quick thinking state, your energy is going to be full if you hadn't cast anything prior. So it'll give you enough time to fire off Accelerant and then tag your target with Life Strike a couple times. Get your life right back up to max in a heartbeat. Also, if you happen to be one of us beta testers and you happen to have the Arcane Phoenix helmet, put that on. More energy is more life. So there you have it. That is the Immortal Phoenix build for Ember. She's really freaking durable and nothing can hit anyone. You know what? You've actually restored my faith in you a little bit. I can put this build right next to my Daki Makara of Ember, next to my Pillow of Ember, next to my CDs of Ember, my Plushie of Ember.